Yo, what's up? It's your boy Van Illusions. Hey, it's your girl Aunt Mel. And, and we are Minus the Wall. There we go. We got it. Yo, what's up, beautiful people? Uh, today is the first episode of Making It In Your 20s, episode one of a series where we interview young, successful individuals, such as Mr. Young Don Trevor himself. Trevor, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. And you, Ivan, thanks for having me. Thanks for, for being a part of the show, man. Thanks for being a part of the show. Welcome, welcome. And Onele has... No idea who you are. So for the guests and the guests at home, probably you might not know who you are. Can you can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, okay, Ivan. Um, I am a business creative. Um, I grew up in a family where everyone is doing business, and um, I always always didn't know where to actually put my creativity until. Um, a few years ago, I realized that I could actually combine both business and creative, my creative side and, and make something out of it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's basically a short background of the story and where I am today. I love the way you put that business creative. Man. Fire. That's, that's clean. And you know the fact that you um, you did that for yourself. You know you had you know, we had nature versus nurture, and you put that together. You know and made who you are today and where you're going with your life. So that is pretty cool too. I think so. Okay, so I would like us to start with um, a wonderful icebreaker. Are you ready, Trevor? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so firstly, what is your all-time favorite song? All-time favorite song? Wow. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it would have to be "Diamonds" by Kanye West. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, have you seen our page? That's the second question. Mana some more. So, um. Uh, I'm really loving the page because it has uh, quotes or pictures of really um, different people. You know, uh, I don't know how to how best to put it, but these are thinkers. They are they're not your ordinary people at all. Um, they 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 go against the grain. So uh, I, I really love the fact that they are those type of people on the page. I like the way you yeah, phrased that, man. Literally, that's what I was thinking. All right, now that we've broken the ice, let's let's get into the nitty gritty of this interview. Are you ready? Hundred <laughs> percent. Right, this first question might throw you off a bit, but it's interesting to it's, it's going to be interesting to find out what your insights are. What is your biggest fear? Hmm. My biggest fear, <laughs> to be to be honest with you, um, it's something. It's something that I've been working on, and I, I'm not too sure if I can call it a fear anymore. However, it was it was failing. Um, it was, uh, you know, thinking that my ideas wouldn't work out. Um, Yes, uh, I, I mean that is that is a fear because um, you put your reputation on the line. You know, you put you put everything on the line when when you want to speak about things that haven't happened yet. When you are talking about things um, that are sounding like a fantasy, just because they haven't manifested yet. Mm. So. Um, you know how I felt about what you said, Trevor? Everyone can mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. I was just thinking about how when you, when the question was asked, when Ivan asked you the question, 
um, you did not start by stating your fear. For me, that's what stood out the most. You did not start by stating mm. it. You spoke about how you're going through it, how you tackling it, how you, you know, it's a challenge, yes, but you're overcoming it, like, you know, um, with steps and procedure. So I really like the fact that you started that way because it means that it's not the biggest, you know, um, it's not mm. really standing in your way. You've acknowledged it, yes, that's what it is, but it's. Um, there's nothing that's stopping you. You feel me. So I really like the fact that you started with how um, you're managing it as best as you can. Of course. That was mm. yeah. And then how did you come up with the concepts for? I feel like you've got multiple businesses now. So <sighs> any of your businesses, yeah. like how did you come up with the idea? What's that thought process like? Um, I think. I think you initially like you don't come up you 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 may come up with you know the the seed if I could say so um, of the business but along the way everyone has an input on how your business turns out mm-hmm. um, uh, for one of one of the businesses for example filming you know. Um, a friend close to me, you know, just said a few words that changed, you know, the whole vision that I initially had, you know. Um, so it's it's everyone who's around you, everyone, the customers also play a role in shaping your business, you know. I don't know, the investors, everyone, everyone who's around you, everyone who you talk to about the business will definitely shape your business in a different direction. No, I, I find that very true. And I think a lot of people stress themselves over the start of the concept, not realizing what you just spoke about, right? You know, like mm. you start a business thinking it needs to look in a certain way, but sometimes you operate and your customers and the people close to you kind of usher it into what it really needs to be. You know, maybe mm. you thought, okay, I need to just sell soap in hard form. And then people are like, look, we, we love the fragrance of your soap, but we would love it in right. liquid form, you know? Like if you could yes. make it a shower gel, then we move it, you know? And Definitely. People need to actually be able to take that constructive criticism. I like, um, I like how you touched on interpersonal. This is leading to my next question, though. But I like how you've already spoken about interpersonal uh, relations and how so much you like kind of humanitarian. You know, you use about being about the people and for the people, and I, I like that. So um, my question would be: What was your mission at the outset before you know you got into business? What what was your what was your, what was your goal? What were you thinking about? Where were you tending towards um, before you started your journey? Uh, I mean, to be honest, from a really young age, uh, when um, many people wanted to be a soldier, a doctor, uh, and all those other professions, I, I had the vision of becoming a businessman. Um, so in grade two, when they told us to dress up and come to school as what you want to be, I came, I, I went dressed um, as a businessman with a briefcase that had nothing inside it. <laughs> um, however, that was, that, was, that was my vision. So I, I, I don't think I knew what business I wanted to start or what business I wanted to be in. All all I knew is I wanted to be a businessman. So I think to answer your question, that started, you know, before all the businesses. This is, it's been a long life dream. And I guess in high school as well, there was a point when they were asking us about our careers and, and like what job you think best suits your personality and so on. And I just couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't find anything that was, you know, 
suiting my character and my personality. Um, I knew I liked to be in the office, but I also liked to be outdoors. It was just <laughs> so this all coming together has just been a really fantastic journey, I say. That's great. Good for you. That's really good. And that you like persisted, you know. Um, you were determined, as you said, this is something that you've been thinking about. This is something that you wanted to do. In order to be what you wanted to be from a young age, you had to have been persistent, you had to have been determined, you had to have been tenacious in all the ways where life throws adversities at you, you know what I'm saying? And you just kept it going, which is mm. really good. Um, I'm saying that life throws you with things because not once did you falter your vision, not once did you falter your goal, you know, which is really great. You stuck it through. This is something that has clearly been a calling, you know? And um, on that mm. on that note, were there, <laughs> were there any difficult times? You know, like was it always smooth sailing from the time that you had that empty briefcase to the time now that you got a briefcase <laughs> full of cash? Or <laughs> is it, was there times when you looked at it and you're like, "Yo, maybe I'm not cut out for this." You know, maybe this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> I, I mean, definitely, definitely there were challenges and um, along the way, uh, there are a lot of people that will try and alter your vision, you know, um, and there are a lot of challenges that will make you think twice about your vision. So um, it, it has not been a smooth journey, but I'm also grateful about the people that came along the way um and reminded me what my vision was so yeah that i think they they played a big role in, into like, where i am right now on to the next question what would you attribute to your success you know is it the people that are there for the journey is it a certain skill set or like you know certain amounts of determination Hmm. I think, um, you know, consistency, <laughs> dedication, vision, focus, and, and just being able to get back up when you take a knock. Um, those are the things that I would say uh, <laughs> have helped me, you know, pass all the hurdles. Um, I think no matter how many people in your life that can tell you be consistent, be dedicated, it's still at the end of the day your choice um, to <laughs> to actually apply the advice that you are told or given. Nice. And that is really great. You know, like not only are you appealing to the the listeners, but you're appealing to me too. You're speaking to my spirit. You, you know, you're just really doing that. And it's like, I can feel that you're water, you're source, you are life. You know what I'm saying? Um, from the words that come out of your mouth, from your thought processes. So I think that's incredible, you know, and keep doing what you're doing, you know, your momentum, keep that momentum going. Mm. Girl said, yo, what? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> bars, man, bars. Thank you very much, Anneli. <laughs> no problem. Um, what does it take, this is the next question, to be an entrepreneur in your 20s? Like someone who starts something, what what, what can you say would be the, yeah, the, the, the beginning point, the starting point for someone who wants to build themselves, someone who wants to be self-sufficient? I think uh, I've mentioned a few uh, things that, you know, would help anyone, not just someone, you know, uh, in their 20s. But I think I'd like to, to put it down to two things, um, just really two, two things. Uh, it's, it's your vision and, and heart. You know, once you have a vision about the end goal, it's easier to map out everything else, you know, 
um once you have a vision of your end goal you know what movies to watch you know what books to read you know what hobbies to take up you you know so i think for me vision is very important and then the other thing is is heart is and what i mean by heart is just getting knocked down seven times and getting up eight times you know um so i think vision and heart uh those those are the two things that one should be looking at well i'm gonna ask one last question i feel i okay. feel like this, this is something i ask a lot of people in general not just for the interview but if, like, if there was one thing you know you let's say tomorrow we invented a time machine and they said you can only use it once you can only go back to when you were 18 <laughs> what are you telling yourself <laughs> Hmm. And don't be like a lot of numbers. <laughs> I definitely would like to know a lot. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I'm on sport. Um, baby, I'm on sport. Baby. I'm, just, I'm winning. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, you know, this question is it's it's very interesting. um because you know you may be even if you were told the the you know if you were to go back and tell yourself certain things you may still not want to listen 100%. to you know 100%. what what your future now like, you would be ready are, to dog? tell you <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what, what went wrong what you be coming back if things went right what went wrong <laughs> you it's not me <laughs> so i i but i what i what i do think what i do think is important um uh with with that being said is that i would really tell myself that you know some things just take time and you can plant a seed and you can water it as much as you want to water it it's not going to grow by tomorrow you know some things just take time <laughs> and so yeah um i think i think that does a lot for focus because a lot of people um started things but lost focus because it was taking too long and so time I'll tell myself to be patient. I'll tell myself, you know, just just take some time. <laughs> And I yeah. I think your 18 year old self would have reacted to that. <laughs> <laughs> I know man, I wanted to be a, a millionaire instantly. I, I I didn't I wasn't ready I for you. time. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think we would have a bit of an for argument real, for real. <laughs> oh, the ACU is like you don't believe in yourself dog you're doing this <laughs> tomorrow even you know what's going to happen motivate yourself and with those you know, that you come back to your normal time and you're like oh, I'm a billionaire now okay <laughs> it's great is good advice for 18 year olds so you know um those who were like you at your age when you were 18 all those who feel that way right now you know like people who are thinking that things can be done by tomorrow or in their own time or as in one thing so i really like the fact that you gave your well you give yourself that advice because it's it's advice to everyone really you know it's um it has no age that that advice that type of advice it's really good advice to to remember for everything that we do do um things take time you know and i really like what you said when you said mm. people lose focus because it's taking so long but um yeah. it's very important to just stick it out you know stick it through finish it through and then you'll see mm. the results of that seed that was planted you know you'll it harvest and and you'll reap the rewards um in due time So I like Look, Rome wasn't built in a day you can't plant a seed and watch the tree grow tomorrow you know <laughs> yeah. it's you have to take your time and be patient and I feel like that's something people forget you know I've seen so many 
talented people with so much potential live a long life and not really amount to a lot of things because they get frustrated with, you know, oh, it didn't happen when it was supposed to happen. And then you get responsibilities, you know, maybe you picked up a job that you're not really happy in, but because it pays the bills, you stay in there. Like sometimes it's just about saying, you know what, the time will come and I just need to keep on doing it. And also when you're young, be realistic about things. Cause I feel like when I was younger, just like you, man, I didn't really have a realistic viewpoint of the world. And some of, some of the mm. things may, may have gone quicker. Yes, they could have. Some of the things took the time that they needed to take because I still wasn't even the type of person to allow success mm. on such a level, you know? And mm. that's the kind of things that we need to remember. Sometimes it's taking long because you just need to, to learn a little bit more before things happen. Because I swear to, I swear to everybody right now, mm. if I was 18 and I made it the way I wanted to make it and I got certain deals the way I wanted to get them, Man, I would be a different person. I probably wouldn't be a good man, you know? And mm. I'm grateful for the time that it's taken to get to the point that I'm at, personally. So, time is key, man. Mm. Well, this is very nice. This is good. This is helpful. This is wise. This is fruitful. And I thank you for that. Thank you for your time, Trevor, as well. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much guys for, for, for having me um, I would be definitely lying if I say I, I didn't learn some things for myself during this podcast and uh, I, I really enjoyed it and I just want to let you guys know that you guys are going to be making such a huge difference and you must carry on doing what you do. In a love and abundance, man. We appreciate that and we appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Before anything else, can you please just get your social? What, where are you? Where can people get a hold of you? Link the business, man. Okay, Link so... <laughs> so, um, people can get a hold of me um, on Instagram. Um, it's Film Africa. The handle is at film Eno ZA. Uh, and then people can also get a hold of me on, on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's, 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 a, and LinkedIn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's, that's about it. Um, yeah. All, right. well, all of these socials will be linked in the description of this podcast. So if you want to check out Trevor, say hi, talk to him, tell him that you, feel inspired by his words of wisdom please do <laughs> to say mana some more sent me here uh, otherwise thank you Onele. thank you trevor it's been a beautiful first episode and until the next i hope everybody stays blessed <laughs>